Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrill and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Barron Square, Wiley. Of all the hard riding, hard shooting, just plain hard umbers that ever plagued the American frontier, about the worst was a parcel of outlaws that called themselves the Wild Bunch. Butch Cassidy was the leader. They seemed to be heading for the Mexican border. The border's not far south of Wileyville. The only way across it for a good many miles is the toll road through Redskin Gap. The combination border guard, toll collector, and chief cook is a retired sea dog named Barnacle Barney. Barney got so homesick for the sea, he fitted the toll station out like a ship's bridge. <laughs> you can imagine how fascinating a setup like that could be for a bright kid like Buffalo Bill Jr.'s sister, my adopted daughter, Calamity. Barney, Barney, what's this? Where is this note? B. A. R. N. E. And just what was all that? I spelled your name, just the way you taught me. I never taught you to make a Y that way. I just can't remember why. I don't know why. Well, that's right. You don't know why. Now, there's a Y. I just can't seem to remember why. Now, you show me how to make a Y. Mm. Eh, still not good. Tell you what. Whenever you hear me yell, why? You drop anything you were doing and show me how to signal it. Just why? And just because I said so. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, just why. Eight bells, time for the northbound stage. And there it is. Right on time. Now, young lady, if you want to earn them signaling lessons, you get that table set. You might as well have something to eat, folks, while Barney checks your papers. That's right, mate. Calamity's got chow set up in the galley. Carrying anything important? Only a hundred thousand in currencies, all. shape to me. Hey, ain't you taking a chance of leaving that stage out there with all that currency? Not a bit. Why? What are you trying to do? You told me to drop everything when you said why. I guess I just poured everything. <laughs> Don't just steal your hundred thousand. He steals the whole coat. You gotta send the wire right away and head them off. Can't. I told them they should have put a telegraph line out here, but do you think they'd listen? <laughs>
Hey, there's nobody aboard. I wonder what happened to Butch. Here it is. Ah, forget him. We got one. one. Marshal? The prisoner tried to escape. Killed the driver, then put me off the stage with him. Here. Here's my papers. Marshal Jeffries. Mm -hmm. I'm called Buffalo Bill, Jr. Well, anyway, that's what Judge Ben Wiley calls me. You see, I'm his adopted son and his duly appointed deputy. Well, I'm sure glad you came along, Bill. Didn't know what I was going to do. Who is he? You don't know him? That's the famous Butch Cassidy. Butch Cassidy? The cold-blooded murderer? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I'm not a bad guy. I know him pretty well. I'd say he was more of a, well, a Robin Hood. Mm. Well, I'll give you a hand and help you get him in the stagecoach. Oh, fine. Now, where would you like me to take you? Back to the toll gate? No, no, I don't think so. Where's the nearest jail? Oh, that'd be Wileyville. Marshal Jeffrey, Judge. His prisoner tried to get away and he got knocked out. I uh, lost the key to the handcuffs in the scuffle. My, that's a nasty bump. I'd better get my medical kit for an emergency treatment. Judge, uh, this is more of a legal emergency. How do you mean? Well, this is the famous Butch Cassidy. I've been chasing him in that wild bunch. If I don't get after him, they're going to slip across the border. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, get these cuffs off of me, then lock him up. I'll get on after the wild bunch, then you can give him an emergency treatment. Oh, no. I can't lock a man up without a fair trial. Well, then give him a fair trial. Huh? It doesn't have to be a long trial, just a fair and legal. Well, a man in his condition can't testify. Well, uh, doesn't a prisoner have a right to decline to testify? Oh, yes. Well, I'd say he was declining. Should we get along with the judge? Uh, Bill, you better get a file and go to work on those handcuffs. Court's going into session. Order in the court. Order in the court. The municipal court of the town of Wileyville is now in session. Now, hurry it up, judge. Uh, prisoner at the bar, Butch Cassidy. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Oh, refuse to cooperate with the court and answer the question, eh? Very well, I find you guilty of contempt and sentence you to ten days in jail. 
Will that be time enough? That's fine, Judge. How you get along with the cuffs, honey? Eh? Uh, just a minute. There. Thanks a lot, Bill. Judge, well, I better get going after that wild bunch. Say, Marshal, you can pick up a horse down to the livery stable. Well, thanks, Bill. Now, let's get him into jail, Bill. Where am I? Right where you belong, in jail, Mr. Cassidy. Cassidy! And don't try to escape. Look, I'm not Cassidy, I'm... Oh, so that's it. They knocked me in the head, took my badge, and then switched papers on me. Who did? Which Cassidy did? I'm Marshal Jeffrey. Now, look, doctor, it's... it's not doctor, it's Judge Wiley. Judge Wiley, you've got to let me go. Let me go, Ed. No, you just stay put. But if Cassidy gets across that border, we'll never get him back. I think we've got Butch Cassidy right here in this cell. Well, Judge, he might be telling the truth. Well, maybe. Is there anybody in Wileyville that can vouch for you? No, but Jack Eastman at the county courthouse will. Well, I can take a ride over to the county seat, and if this Eastman verifies your story, I can come right back and let you out. That's the best I can do. All right, but hurry it up, will you? Bill, you look after things around here. And the minute Calamity gets back, the both of you give that store a darn good cleaning. So I saddled up old Nellie and headed for the county seat to check on the prisoner's story. Do you have to do that? If I'm going to dust, I do. Sleeping lizards! What's the matter? Two thousand dollars reward for information leading to the arrest of Butch Kessler, bank robber, train robbery, and leader of the Wild Bunch, North Pacific Railroad. Look, it's a picture of Butch Cassidy, but it's not the man in jail. It's the man who had Judge Wiley put him in there. Then the prisoner's telling the truth. He really is Marshal Jeffrey. Right. And if we don't lose something right away, Butch Cassidy will get away across the border. Clammy, when the judge gets back on O'Nelly, you tell him that I... Oh, no, I'm going with you. No, you're not. And why not? For two very good reasons. First, you're a little girl. That reason's no good. Now, what's the other reason? Butch Cassidy is loose and he's dangerous. Then I won't be safe away from you, because I'm just a little girl. But you're supposed to watch the store. And so are you. Girls. Come on. about you. Yeah, I'll bet you were. And you weren't aboard that stager. Hey, what's the idea of wearing the badge? Let's go inside. Thought you boys would be miles south of the border by now. You thought we'd run off and leave you holding the bag? What happened to you? Well, I got mixed up with the marshal. An old fool of a judge helped me out. Threw the marshal right in jail when he thought we was wearing this. Now, let's see what we've got. Look, Butch, did you know this was Mexican currency? Sure, it's a payroll for the Mexicans working in the silver mines over here. Yeah, but what good will it do us? So we hide out in Mexico for a couple of weeks. But when we come back... Maybe you're coming back, but I'm not. It's too hot for us north of the border. I'm heading for Guatemala just as quick as I can. Then you knew we were after Mexican money. Well, sure, in Mexico you need Mexican money. <laughs> What's the matter, boss? Now I know why you boys stuck around. You didn't know what to do with us, did you? Where do we cross the border? At Redskin Gap? Look, if we don't cross there, it means an extra hundred-mile ride. There's no telegraph there, and the guards can't be tipped off. There they go. That's Cassidy, all right. I recognize that horse from the livery stable. There's only some way we could warn Barney to stop him. Excuse me. What? I said excuse me. What are you doing? Here, tie this on a stick. What for? Barney's been giving me lessons with signal flight. Maybe I can send him a message. Semaphore. Sure. Barney stands a dog watch every afternoon. Wild Bunch. What's that? Yes. 
Eight and four. Border. Stall. If you can. Leader is Butch Cassid Cassid. Why? I'd know that sloppy wire anywhere. That's calamity. That's it. About all we can do now. We just hope that he got your message. back to Wileyville. The judge ought to be there by the time you get there. Tell him to round up some help and send it to Redskin Gap. What are you going to do? I'm going to Redskin Gap to see if I can help Barney. Now, you be careful. You're the only brother I've got. <laughs> Don't worry. Customers. Sorry, uh, Marshal. Can't do it. Look, I've got to get across that border. I've got an extradited prisoner to bring back. Well, Major, I'd like to help you, but uh, can't do it. See, the road's closed. Closed? Yeah, bridge is out. Across the river. The bridge? Yeah, but don't worry about it. They're working on it, and we're liable to get word any minute that it's open again. But, uh, but didn't you hear him? The bridge will be open any minute. Meantime, how about a spot of chow? You know, you'll be eating nothing but chili when they get across the border. It's a good idea. Hey, Mandy, you better go back up the road and mount guard. There's no telegraph here, but never hurts to be too careful.
Jackson pinned down. All right, drop those guns. All of you, you're under arrest. Calamity! Marshal! Where we started, eh, Butch? Only the right man's wearing a badge this time. But the judge turned you loose. Now, see this. Calamity? How? I know where the judge keeps the key to the cell. You're right, Marshal. They verified your story, and I can let you go. Well, you're just a little bit late, aren't you, Judge? Well, I'll be jiggered. Who, uh, they did it. We helped get the money back. And capture Butch Cassidy in the Wild Bunch. We're heroes. So? Well, one of you little heroes is going to have to wash the dishes tonight, and the other's going to have to chop a pile of wood. Oh, now, just a minute, Judge. And to make dead sure that the job gets well done, I'm going to take both of you into protective custody and see that it is done. Now, give me your hand. Uh, well, how in tarnation did I get <laughs> Looks like you took yourself into protective custody. Yeah. Better get the file again, Bill. Looks like a Ross McKee. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill Junior. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. There's no one quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Junior. Buffalo Bill Junior. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill. 